an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Welcome back to the Classic Shade channel. So today I will be installing a wig. Um, this will be the second install because I wear it to an NBA game a few weeks ago. And then I'll be wearing it to an event tomorrow night that I have to go to. Um, sometimes it's just best for me to install a wig that was already on my head already. Instead of just doing a whole new wig. So i'm actually I, and I did not um actually have a chance to promote it the last time i had it on so it's freshly washed and i'm going to be installing it also i'm going to be talking about wake ovi if you do not know what wake ovi is and i don't know if i'm saying it right correct me if i'm wrong but today i will be talking about wake ovi so stay tuned the cap i will be using is an invisible hd cap premium quality now i got this cap these caps from sheen and they were on sale and i wanted to try them and this is like my tenth time wearing them i actually like them because they are super 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 thin and they are amazing like i just love them you can't really see them underneath um underneath my wigs like you could see these like there's a huge difference in the caps so if you see this is a little bit more darker this is a little bit more sheer and that's the wig caps is like the regular ones that i will wear but they started to like itch the front of my hair. This one is like really, really, really see-through. And let me take this one off the pack. See the difference? This is the regular stocking cap and this is a sheer invisible cap. So I actually like this one better. It's actually like very, very thin. So I normally um, like twist it a little bit and then just cut behind my ear so that it's able to tuck a lot better. And that way it's not like that cutting line well, that sheer line that goes all the way across. Um, I actually like that way better than to cut in the front of my ear because then it don't lay but it don't lay good. It was when I was making clothes or I would make my wigs on the sewing machine, which I still do make um, wigs on the sewing machine. But these are actually small, sharp, and just ready to go. So as y'all can see, the front is laying flat because I cut behind the ear instead of in the front of the ear where so it would not be laying as flat we'll be using um bowl hold active oily skin and the reason why i use this one is because it doesn't break me out now i realize that other glues do irritate me after at least 48 hours so i don't keep wigs on past i want to say two or three days like i take the frontals off and then i'll either wear a closure because i don't have time for my skin to be breaking out and i have sensitive skin and i know that my skin is sensitive so i'm not blaming no glue company i know how my skin is so for real for real it's probably just my skin <clears throat> that was around the perimeter of my head i normally cut this part in half hold on a second i normally cut it in half and then tie it in the back of my head I started using this creamy um foundation a while ago and I really do like it I like how it like smears on my face and everything and that you don't need a lot so now I'm going to put makeup all over the cap and just in the front and then like in the middle because yeah i probably just do a middle part i should do it all over just in case just to talk to you guys about wake ovi and the pen and how it works so i couldn't lose weight for a long time so as some people may know i went on a liquid diet i lost 20 pounds right and then i continued the liquid diet with used today but i also work out but with the liquid diet it's kind of hard for you to have energy to work out so then i tried pilates that actually works, but actually, as you guys know, Pilates gets very expensive, like very, very expensive. So then I started going to the gym heavy and then instead of my fat turning into like the body, the, the weight I was looking for, it was turning into like thick, loose muscle. So I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but it was turning into something that I didn't want to, um, look like I, I didn't like it i don't know if you guys don't do your ear tabs but i don't do them until i put the wig on but it was looking like something i didn't want to look like my body to look and i am 
I am in portion. So if you don't know what that means, it, I have big breasts. I, had, I have a small natural waist and I have a butt. So I'm naturally thick and when I gain weight, I gained weight everywhere. So I had a breast reduction and with the breast reduction, it left me with one back roll. So that one back roll was getting completely big. And also I did not want to gain my breast big. So I decided to see a weight loss doctor. I meant to say um, one meal a day with the liquid diet. Um, I saw my rheumatologist on March 12th and I, cause I finally got my notes up. I weighed 188 pounds and I am ashamed. Sorry guys, I gotta get the brush. I am ashamed to tell you guys that I weigh that much, but hey, it is what it is. Like I'm in portion, so it doesn't look like it to people that I gained that much weight. But to me, it's uncomfortable for my knees because I'm only four to and a half. So I weighed 188 on March 12th. I went to see my rheumatologist. He said it was okay to go on weight goldie if that was the medicine that the doctor, want, the weight loss doctor wanted to put me on. Which we talked the week before that and he told me he did. So on March 12th, I also made a doctor's appointment with the weight loss doctor. And that day I weighed 188 pounds. And then Sunday, March 24th, 2024 is when I started my first shot. And I weighed 186 pounds because like I said, I work out. So I go up and down with my weight. Now on Friday which was March 29th, 2024, I weighed 179 pounds. Now, that's only not even one week on we go over yet because a week would have made Sunday, which was March 31st. And I also weighed um, 179 then as well. But I was only on we go over for a week at that time. Then on April 2nd, which is Tuesday that just passed, my weight in was 178.5, which is actually good because within a week span, I lost 10 pounds. So I'm I'm happy about that because I was 188 when I went to go see my doctor. And then when I started weight goal, I was 186. And then I was 179 in my first week. And in a week in a couple of days, I was only, I was 178.5. So all together I lost 10 pounds. Change my um my portions of eating. Well, I wasn't eating that much but portions before, but I changed my portions of eating. So I have this um container, it's a rectangle, and I have two different ones. I have a glassware and I have a plastic glass, a plasticware. And it's about maybe this is a circle, but it's about maybe two of these lengthwise. And height wise, it's about like that much height. So with those, I fill up whatever I cooked the night before for lunch. And I also have a small bowl for dinner. Um, sometimes I'll make, because you need protein. So I'll either have chicken, fish, or shrimp. And um, I'll have like a little bit of rice um, or in vegetables, a lot of vegetables. And I normally don't get through the whole little bowl or whatever. Um, and the reason why I do that is because you have to have a certain amount of food in your system, but your stomach is going to literally tell you to stop eating because it's going to start once you feel full after you keep, if you keep eating, your stomach is going to hurt because the reason why you're taking the, um, the COVID shot is that it can secrete your appetite. So with it doing that, I don't feel hungry. So I have to make myself eat. And with making myself eat, um, it can be a little annoying at times because like, I'm not hungry. So if I'm not hungry, then I'm just just feeding myself in just so I can have enough protein in my body. Like I need to make sure you, you have to make sure you eat something. The first shot, I felt lightheaded, nauseous, weak. And I didn't feel like myself, like, um, so I did go to work. So that Sunday I took it, that Monday, I felt that way. That Tuesday, I felt even worse than I felt on Monday. By Thursday, I felt like myself again. Um, that's when I had to go back to work was that Thursday. I was perfectly fine. Then the next week when I had took it on Sunday, um, I was fine on Monday. Tuesday, I had to work. I felt a little lightheaded. 
um, and nauseous. And then Wednesday, nothing. Uh, Thursday, nothing. But yesterday, I felt this sharp pain in my head and I go through migraines so I know for sure that it was not a migraine it was something else it was like the stabbing I felt the sharp pain and um I didn't like the sharp pain at all like it was very uncomfortable um but got through it now I know you guys want to know about minstrels so this is my first one since I started Wake OV and let me tell y'all I'm not bloated Bloating is my issue. Like, I might gain, like, two or three pounds within, maybe even five within being bloated, right? And then I'll take, like, my doll to get rid of the bloating or whatever. This time, I don't have any bloating. I am cramping real, real bad. So that's the reason why I decided to just make this video today. So I could just tell you guys what I'm going through. It's cramping um, through my stomach through my back through my stomach through my back now i haven't been able to work out after taking the shot my my girlfriend has she's been going to the gym i haven't been able to go to the gym or i do a little workout at home but it's not like i would on my normal basis i do not feel 100 percent like myself maybe 75 percent i feel like myself but not 100 percent yet so I'm trying to get used to it so that I can work out more and um, but I actually depend on like keeping my portion so small, just that. Also, going to need a lot of water. And my pop-pop got me this for my birthday, um, even though I just got it because he got me a gift card to one of these stores. And when I went to go get the Wake Ovi shot um, from two and a half hours away, um... I went to the store that my grandfather got me um, a gift card to and I got me a pair of Uggs for work, like the slot on Uggs, and I got a water bottle. And let me tell you, this water bottle is my best friend. It's my bestest friend in the whole wide world. Even though it has an all day, like fill up, um, the hours get started, hydrate yourself, remember your goal, keep... Listen, it's, it, I don't even go by the times on there. It's done. It's done within an hour. Um, so you do get dehydrated. You do feel like your mouth is dry, and, but it's watery at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's what I go through. Everybody's symptoms isn't the same. Um, they do have a Facebook Wake Ovi group if you guys would like to join. They do want a reasoning of why you want to join. If you are a diabetic, you cannot take this shot. But if you are a pre-diabetic, then you absolutely can take the shot as long as um, your weight loss doctor prescribes it to you. I will say this. Um, they do not have weight movie in Philadelphia. They do not have it in New Jersey. They do not have it in um, Delaware. And they do not have it in Maryland. They don't have the lower dosage in Philadelphia. They have the higher ones. And they don't have it in New Jersey. They, they said in New Jersey, they don't even like, I call so many pharmacies in New Jersey. They were like, listen, we don't even get in, involved in it no more. Like we just, we stop because celebrities um, take this stuff. Everybody and their mama take this to lose weight, um, especially like if they're having a hard time. Like I said, I was working out, but my muscle was turning into like loose muscle fat if that makes sense so for me that wasn't good for me it also was not healthy for me because i don't want to be toned up like a man i still want to be girly so that's not a good look for me i also seen a couple stories um where this one lady was like having the same issue i was having and instead of but instead of hers turning into muscle it was turning into like this stiff fat like it would just <laughs> She said like her booty <laughs> wouldn't like shake. It wouldn't like, it didn't have no jiggle to it. It was just like, just stiff fat, but it wasn't like muscular. So she was just like, she needed to see a weight loss doctor. And she also was healthy. Like she didn't have like the, some of the problems I have, but everybody has their own problems, their own issues. So don't look at it as like, oh well you know um just because it didn't work for that person or it doesn't work this way for you like some people take wake ovi and they have the runs they're throwing up i didn't have the runs i wasn't throwing up 
it, some people get constipated. I did not get constipated because I also eat a lot of vegetables. So I won't get constipated. Um, but it, it works different for everybody. Like it doesn't work the same for everybody. And you know, that's why I say try it yourself. I'm just giving the advice on what I do. Um, as I was taking it. So before I was taking it, I went, I actually flushed my system out. Then I um, started eating healthy. I wasn't drinking no soda and I wasn't none of that, like no sugar intake. No, I literally changed my entire diet before getting on it. So by the time I got on it, I only was lightheaded and nauseous and a little weak. Put the glue on the sides for now so that um, I can lay those down. But I like to see where the wig lands at by my ears instead of just putting the glue on because I have made mistakes and pulled out my hair on my sideburns and I'm not doing it no more. You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's basically it by about wig Ovi. Like I don't have any issues with it. Um, I know some people have had hair loss. Like I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it's the best thing in America because no some people has had problems and that's the reason why i say it's best that you do your research like i did i went to another doctor asked that doctor how he felt about it colleges do he handles like a lot of things that's wrong with me so i went to him to ask him and i trust him not that i don't trust my pcp i just went to a weight loss doctor talk to them and see what's the best um option for you if you want to know um more details about it i will definitely give you guys my email in the description box that way you guys can just email me and ask me questions i will send you the doctor's information if you would like to see my weight loss doctor he is stationed out in california um he do zoom calls um but he's very hands-on about your life what's going on with you he asks the questions that people have never asked me before um so if you are interested i don't mind giving out my doctor um and if you are in philadelphia and you want to know where you can go and you don't mind driving miles you can also email me and i will definitely let you know as well um it's hard it's hard to find a lower dose it's like right now i'm on 0.25 and then my next one is 0.5 so i will definitely take you guys on this journey with me um because i'm excited and i hope that you guys are excited for me and, and if you are already on it, please comment below or email me or text me. Y'all can text my business number and we can talk about it. Your metabolism, it also works. Up. It's also about you, you know. So if you want to try it out, try it out. If it doesn't work for you, that's perfectly fine. There's other, there is other medications out here that might work for you. The pill might work better for you that you could take daily. The shot might work better for you. It could be, it's so many other medications out here in this world that can help you, um, that can help you achieve what you want when it comes to uh weight loss shoot even hiring a um hiring a trainer can work better for you you know what i'm saying like it just depends on you and how it works out for you but everybody isn't the same and that's what a lot of people don't understand is that something that worked for you that worked for me might not work for our friend Susie. you know so we just have to be mindful of that that's everything doesn't work for everybody but it has so far worked for me but that doesn't mean the next dose is going to work as good as the 0.25 for me it might be the one point out that works better for me i don't know but i do know that i am very excited for this journey
She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now.